Hi, my name is Davide Ridosi and uh, I am uh, Maya certified expert and instructor. Uh, I'm started learning Maya 10 years ago and uh, I'm started using it by version 7. What I want to show you today is my uh, sets of scripts and plugins and preferences called main 9 Main 9 is uh, a full comprehensive uh, modification for Maya from uh, version 2016. So, how is possible install it? After you download, you have this uh, .zip file, is a compressed archive, so I can open it. As you can see, inside of it I have my folders and a readme. In the readme you can uh, find the details of contributors or how, install, how, how you can make an installation or the new hotkey and uh, a new uh, configuration for Maya, new setup for Maya. Um, as you can see I am in Windows so I need to locate this directory user, username, documents and Maya and copy in inside of it and my win, uh, my nine win uh, inside of up of this uh, directory. So I entering in my main nine win, and as you can see, I have my folder with all you need to do. All you need to do is copy this folder inside of the standards my uh, preference folder. So I have already open. I need to backup my old configuration. Sorry for this. Oh, it's better use back. All right and copy it so very simple everything is ready now i can open my maya 2016 and after load up you can see the changes from standard my configuration to my my configuration the first thing you can notice is the the is the fact that the viewer is in the center of main window and a lot of icon are disappear uh, i have closed a lot of uh, ui elements for focusing only on uh, the work inside of viewport as you can see i have removed the toolbox in the left side and uh, you can simply replace it with uh, uh, a number of shortcuts for example um, if i want to create a, a cube as you can see i have no more the uh, the main menu so i can use my hotbox press space create for example a cube as you can see i have re enable the interactive creation and uh, from this point i can use my standard toolbox tool from q to remove every manipulator w for translate e from rotate r for scale and p for universal manipulator uh, in this case universal manipulator opening the less node i've in view editor of course uh, another thing you can find in the standard uh, toolbox is of course the layouting but i have replaced it with a, a new uh, sets of key uh, of hot key so if i press alt and one i have four view alt and two i have uh, hyper shade and uh, perspective view alt and three i have my node editor and perspective alt four my uv texture editor and my perspective alt five i have my graph editor and perspective alt 6 uh, i have my uh, component editor and my perspective alt 7 i have my um, connection editor uh, and uh, and uh, perspective so i can use space again to return in my in my uh, perspective view um, so i have used a lot of hotkey and hotbox to remove the, the, the needed of the main menu of window or the main menu in the top of the UI. Another thing I have changed in my Maya is uh, in my Maya configuration is the ability to use uh, a new way, a, a new set of marking menu. I use the Z key from access to these new sets of hotkey because uh, uh, the, the undo command is uh, uh, available to control Z. So um, it, 
this is a, 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 a redundancy in Maya. We use two, two in two different uh, key, odd key for the same comment. So uh, I decide to use the Z because it's a very uh, is very near to the common function and uh, to the left uh, mouse. Uh, so sorry, to the left hands. So if I press Z and uh, let it press, I can use the left mouse button to have uh, a universal murky menu. From this murky menu, you can create some object, object or uh, manage a scene or load up uh, some plugins or a set, for example, mental ray and so on and so far. Uh, but if I use Z and press and, and, and uh, keep pressing Z and the and sorry and the right mouse button, I can have access to this uh, uh, menu. This menu, uh, this Mac menu is uh, contextual. So, for example, I, I am in the uh, in my viewport and I don't have any objects selected. So in this case, I have access to my viewport Mercury menu. But if I select my cube in uh, object mode, I can use Z and the uh, right mouse button to have access to my murky menu uh, based on my selection, my polygon object. Um, but this uh, configuration is, is more flexible than standard uh, Maya ones. Because if I duplicate this object, Ctrl D, and uh, translate it, uh, translate it, uh, copy um, side by side the original and select uh, the two objects. Now with my Z key and my right mouse button, I have another menu. So uh, this kind of marking menu can read the combination of selection. Another example, very easy, is uh, I can create, for example, a plane. After that, I can create uh, uh, a joints now if I select the joints and the plane the polygon plane if I use a Z and the right mouse button I have a new menu again in this case I want to make a bind scheme very easy another function of uh, this kind of uh, of uh, of tools is the, the ability to have access to the most common hot key based on selection. For example, if I select now my plane and use my Z and release without use mouse buttons, I can uh, switch in the component mode. But if I am in component mode and press Z again and release, I come back to the object mode. This, this behavior is, a, is, a, um, is a usable in the panels too. Look at this. If I put my mouse over the outliner and uh, press Z and uh, my right mouse button, now I have a murky menu based on the panel I am. So I can use uh, some uh, fu functionality based on this panel. This is working a lot of panel too. For example, if I open my hypershade and I am in the hypershade and select, for example, for example, my Lambert and press my Z and the left mouse button, uh, you can see I can assign my material, select uh, uh, object with material, and so on and so forth. So, in this case, I am inside of the uh, hypershade, I have a custom murky menu. Uh, another great feature of uh, my configuration, my 9, is the ability to f fast searching the, um, the uh, menu inside of Maya. For example, I can use my um, my paint, I want to search paint command, and voila. Um, not all this function is uh, developed by me, of course. You can find uh, all the details uh, for the uh, credits directly in the readme file. So I really, um, thanks to all the people, uh, let's give me to use their script to make uh, this kind of uh, configuration possible. So. I hope uh, you enjoy uh, and uh, uh, bye.